Okay, I'm going to try this again. I want to make these little rickrack flowers. I want I have a vintage sewing theme journal that I'm starting to work on and I wanted to make these some little embellishments for paper clips and other things. Uh, rickrack comes in several different widths. It, the different sizes make a different uh, flower. We have uh, great big to little tiny. Um, as you can see, this one was really fun. This is in, was in my stash. It's a little tiny baby rickrack, and uh, it had this mill-in trimmings packaging on it. And when I pulled that off, I had this fabulous antique type packaging. I'm real excited to put that back together and um, use it in the journal. Um, these are pretty old too. This one was 50 cents. Uh, actually it was 45 cents for the package. Um, Rick Rick, like I said, comes in different sizes and I am not sure. The new Rick Rick I got is on these spools. And it comes from Simplicity. It's uh, um, this one is a quarter inch, and the other one is five eighths. So it uh, this one is, however, it's painted, so it's pretty stiff, and um, it's it's a little hard to work with. So I was going to use one of the softer Rick Racks today just to make it easier to see what I'm doing. We're going to need a needle and thread, and I pre-threaded my needle. And this is just standard sewing thread, polyester. And I'm going to use this ancient school of uh, Rick Rack. And it's, it's really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to gather this Rick Rack up into these little chevrons or arrows or valleys or mountains. And we're going to do that by taking a running stitch just in the tip of this brick rack. We're just going to catch the little tip of the rip rack here. We're going to start with the down one, and the next one we're going to come up through the tip. So it's just an up and down, but make sure you come just through the tip of it. Right here. And then the next one will go down. And the next one up. And then down. And we're, I'm just catching the tips. Now sometimes gluing things is easier, but to glue this together is almost impossible. And you want nine or ten petals, so when you consider that each up-down stitch only makes half a petal, it takes a few. So we're going to just this one through right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather that zigzag up. And I didn't cut it off yet because I want to make sure that I have enough. So I'm just going to gather it up, and as I gather it, those little chevrons will form of course it looks like a total mess until you get it all gathered up and you see it's starting to take shape and as it flips around it wants to be a flower
And I think we need a few more. So I'm going to pull this back out a little bit just because it's easier to work with. And we're just doing that down through one tip, up through the next. And I think that might be enough. Do this last one. And then I'm going to make sure that you start with a down and end with an up. That puts your little tails to the back. Okay, so now we're going to very carefully gather this up. And like I said, it wants to flip around and roll. It's really not as hard as it's as it looks. <laughs> there we go. Now you see all these little chevrons have formed. And if you get one that's backwards, just Flip it around. Usually they'll just fall right into shape. And you have a little pile of them. Now we're just going to hold that nice and snug. And pull it snug. And then we're going to, I'm going to go back into the very first. and pull the thread and as I pull the thread I'm going to let it go so that it turns into a little flower you there Now, I need to tie off my knot. So I'm just, I just need to take a couple of stitches and make a knot with my thread. And I have this little cute flower. Now, to put it on a paper clip, I need a backing for it. Besides the fact that that thread is just, you know, a single little thread in there. And so, by gluing it to something, which I'm going to glue it to this little blue base, it gives it just a little more stability. I'm just going to use tacky glue. And I'm just going to... Now, this base is just cardstock that I punched out with a circle punch. And I'm going to just turn my little flower. Oops. And I'm going to stick it on right there. Now, I like to have a little bit of bling in the middle of the flowers. So, while that is stuck, you see my little circle is stuck to the back. And if it's not stuck all the way out, just Push it in a little better. So what I want to do is I'm just going to put a little tacky glue right in the center. And then I have some size 8 silver seed beads. They're just little beads. Oh, that one's floating around. 
And I'm just going to drop them into the center of that glue. And I had a paper clip here. Okay. I'm going to take another little circle and I'm going to put it in the paper clip. Now, the reason for that is, is that then when you want to put your paper clip on your page, your design, your, your flower is not going to stop. It's going to actually go all the way onto the page because the paper clip will let it, see? Okay, oops, right there. Okay, so I'm going to now cover this little round punched out piece of cardstock with some tacky glue, making sure to get the paper clip really well cover. Put the lid back on. And I'm going to pop this, just put the two pieces together, see? Like so. And now I have a really cute little paper clip, which you could use for any kind of journal, but that's just a little brick wrap flower. And like I said, all you do is Let's try it with this big one. It's just a matter of taking it and in this tip and then this tip so that you gather it up. One comes up, and then so it's just a matter of folding it back and forth. I hope you like oops, let me try that better in camera. I didn't realize I was almost off camera. Let me just fold. It's just a matter of folding it like so. But you're doing that with thread coming between each tip so that it stays. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Please give it a thumbs up and please click that little bell icon so you know when I've uploaded a new video. Thank you and now I'm going to go fix some dinner. Have a great night.